guys and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing something very fun and creative especially since so many festivities are right around the corner I thought you know what I want to create something that you guys can achieve for any kind of event that you guys are going to also I quickly wanted to mention that I have partnered up with Rimmel to bring you guys this festive look so if you guys want to learn how to achieve this festive look only using Rimmel products, then please continue watching. I have nothing on my face, bare face, naked face. You guys already know how I roll. I already moisturized. I already prepped my skin before applying primer. But the primer that I'm going to be using is this primer from Rimmel. This is the Lasting Finish Breathable Primer. I'm going to be applying this all over my face, just dotting some everywhere. So I'm just going to now massage it into my skin. Feels so good, you guys. This is very moisturizing, but you can definitely feel how it's kind of mattifying your face at the same time. So we're good with the primer. Now I'm going to be applying my foundation. For today's foundation, I'm going to be using, and I actually have four different shades here. I'm going to be using the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25, 25 hour breathable foundation. So I'm hoping this is my shade. If not, I have another shade right here that I can use. Wow, okay, so I'm gonna be mixing it with this bronze shade. Thank God I have another shade. All right, this is actually, I think I'm gonna use this one instead of the, the other one. Which one is this one? This one is Noisette. I think I'm gonna mix both of these. So I'm just gonna be, oh wow, this looks so good. Bring it down my neck. Be applying it this side right here. I'm so excited for the festivities that are happening here in Vegas. You guys probably know about it, but I'm pretty sure I'm going. I'm still not 100% sure, but I'm like thinking about it. Yeah, you guys, I'm so excited for summer. In general, I'm just super excited for summer. I feel like summer is my favorite season for sure. I don't know about you guys, but I love summer so much. Heck yeah, you need a 24 hour foundation if you're going to these kinds of events. You want your makeup to last. You don't want your makeup to, you know, slide around or anything. This is actually my first time ever trying this foundation. So I'm liking the coverage for sure. Like as you guys can see, the coverage is really, really good. I can't wait to wear it like the whole entire day and tell you guys a little bit more about it down in my description box. If you guys are interested, I feel like I always have to do that because I don't always vlog it. I know a lot of people do vlog like their experience with foundations, but I don't do that. So I'm just going to let you guys know on the description box. So now I'm going to be applying my concealer for today's concealer. I'm going to be using the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Lightweight Medium Coverage Concealer. So I'm just going to be applying this right under my eyes. Looks like my shade, it's medium, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a good match for me. I'm gonna be adding some on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and now I'm gonna be blending it with Alright, so now I'm going to be taking my Rimmel Instant Duo Contour Stick, and this is in the shade Dark. So I'm just going to be adding, you know, lines of this wherever I need it, so my forehead. It glides on very smoothly, so I like that a lot. And now I'm going to be taking this stippling brush, and I'm just going to be 
blending it out. So I like how it's blending out very nicely, you guys. This is actually my first time using this contour stick and it's working like so good. Now I'm just going to be blending my nose contour. All right, so now I'm gonna set my under eye concealer with my Stay Matte Mattifying Loose Powder in Translucent. So now I'm just going to be taking it on my Beauty Blender and just pressing it into my skin. You guys know that I love doing this. So I'm just going to press it into my skin until the loose powder disappears. I feel like that's the best way for me. Ooh. Oh, look at guys, this came out today. I don't know what happened. So now I'm going to be setting my makeup with this Stay Matte Powder. This is in the shade Sandstorm and it's this one right here. And then also if you guys want to brighten any area, you guys can definitely do it with a pressed powder. It does the job really, really good. Who misses this bronzer on my channel? Because I do so much. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel for throughout pretty much my whole entire YouTube career, you guys know this was my favorite bronzer of all time. It is the natural bronzer in sunlight. And I also loved sun bronze, but I'm gonna be using this to bronze up my face. This is it right here. You guys know this is my all time favorite bronzer. So I'm gonna be using this to bronze and then I'm gonna be using another shade to contour also down my neck never forget your neck guys it's very important so now I'm gonna be bronzing up my face with my sun bronze natural bronzer this was my favorite bronzer you guys I might bring you back again and you could also use this to like, you know, chisel your cheekbones a little. So now I'm going to be adding blush. I'm going to be taking my Kate palette. This is in golden bronze and I'm just going to be taking this shade right here. That's like a really pretty sheen. And now I'm just going to be doing this. I've been doing this lately and I really, really like it. Also going to be applying this under my cheekbone just to chisel the cheekbones a little bit more. I really like how I do that. And then this just makes my nose look snatched. So I gotta do it. Now I'm just going to let that, you know, sit a little. All right, guys, so I'm gonna be doing my brows off camera and then I'll be right back to finish the makeup look. I'm gonna go ahead and dust off my powder. So now moving on to an eyeshadow, I'm going to be doing my eyes now. All right, so for today's eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Magnify Color Edition Palette from Rimmel. It's this one right here. But the first shade that I'm going to be taking is this color right here. It's kind of like a purple mauve color. And I'm just going to be deepen up my crease with this. So I'm just going to be starting at the outer corner and working myself up. And now I'm going to be taking a more darker color, which is right here. It's the second to last color. It's kind of like a, hmm, I would say like a, I don't know, like a dark, very, very dark 
purple, but it has like a little brownish in it. I'm going to be taking this and darkening up the outer crease. I'm not going to be taking this so far in. I'm just going to be focusing this on the outer corner like this. Before I add a more darker shade, I'm gonna work on my lower lash line. So I'm gonna pretty much take the same um, bronzer shade and I'm just going to be applying this right underneath my lower lash line. And I'm gonna be taking that mauve purplish color and I'm just going to be adding this right on my lower lash line. Alright, so I'm going to be taking the darkest shade, which is this one right here in the palette, and I'm just going to be adding this on the outer corner. These, I'm telling you guys, these eyeshadows are so easy to blend. I'm shook right now. And I'm just going to be focusing this color right underneath like that. So now I'm going to be adding this shade right here in the palette. This one right here. And I'm just going to be applying this on my lid. So now that I'm done with this eye, I'm going to go ahead and do this one off camera and then I'll be right back. So now that we have both eyes good to go, so now I'm going to be applying this Scandal Eye 24 hour waterproof liner and it's this one right here. And I'm also going to be putting this on my waterline. And I'm just going to be taking this shade right here and just smoking my lower lash line a little bit more. So now I'm going to be taking my duo contour stick again. There's actually a highlight side right here. So I'm going to be applying this on the highest points of my cheeks. I'm going to first apply it right on my hand like this. And then with my sponge, I'm just going to be applying this on the highest points just to add a little sheen. So now I'm going to be taking the Kate palette again and I'm just going to be taking this shade right here in the palette and then I'm just going to be applying this right, oh that's pretty. I'm also going to be taking that shade and just applying it on the highest points of my nose. Alright guys, so for the star of the show, um, this will pretty much complete your look. I really, really love this product. This is their Rimmel Ink Me Stamp Tattoo, and I'm gonna be using the Star Shape. This is what's really going to make it look festive and cute. So this is super easy to apply, you guys. There's actually four different shapes. And if you guys want to get super creative, I'm going to take this yellow shade right here. It's like a yellow gold shade. And I'm just going to apply this on the highest point. Look at this. And I'm just going to now take my Oh My Gloss and apply this on my lips. I'm going to keep it very simple on the lips because we have so much going on on the eyes. Alright, so I'm pretty much finished with the look. I'm just going to go ahead and do my hair off camera and then I'll be right back to show you guys my finished result. Alright guys, so we're pretty much done with the look. I'm going to go ahead and add two more on the side because I really like the look. So I'm just going to apply them.
All right, guys, so that is it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I do. It's very different from what I do on my channel. I really love how it turned out. But if you guys did too, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you guys want to find out where to get all these products, I will have a link down below so you guys can check their products out. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.